Hi, this is Dr. Steve Vero. I want to talk about journal articles uh, for a few moments. Basically in the context of having a professor send you as a scholar at the PhD level to go get journal articles. Uh, so either for your dissertation that you're writing or for a course assignment. And what I want to do is just briefly talk about the idea that journal articles mean something fairly precise, but if you think about it in a general sense, there are some things that you might think are journal articles and are meeting the precision that the professor is asking about, but in fact might not. And here's how I want to talk about that a little bit. So, first thing to think about journal articles is what distinguishes that is that it's at a peer-reviewed journal. A journal is this idea that a scientist has written a paper or published a paper sent it off for review by peer scholars and if you get two or three of them say yeah well this is science then the publisher uh, publishes it. That's the very first thing that you want to do. Now if you're using a, a journal article aggregator, you know like find articles as opposed to go into a particular journal you will probably check the box and say well look for peer reviewed articles only but you still might have some things come back that don't really meet that rigor that your professor was thinking. That's the first point to ponder. The second thing is is that you might actually have a uh, peer-reviewed journal and you might pick the right journal but the article itself was not the type of article that the professor wanted you to get that, that would be suitable for the dissertation and the assignment. And this is my characterization. There's probably many to uh, different words to use and there's probably many different characterizations but I want you to think about three different characterizations of a journal article even at a proper peer-reviewed journal. So here's the three types. One would be a review article or a literature review article. Number two would be a theoretical article or some sort of position piece. And number three I would call a scientific paper. Now when you're writing a dissertation and you're doing a, an assignment for a course and you're sent to get a journal article, it's probably thinking that you're going to get a scientific paper. And let me distinguish the three though. So a review article, even if published at a peer-reviewed journal, and not all journals publish review articles, but if you just, if you just uh, went journal to journal, you could find a journal that never publishes these types of things and you'd be all right. But if you use this journal article aggregator for your uh, keyword search, let's say, so let's say you put the keyword that you're searching in and then you, you check the box peer-reviewed articles only and all these articles come back, there's different tiers or levels of uh, journals and you might get a journal that, that uh, thinks that it's okay to publish uh, review articles or theoretical pieces and it will look on an equal par as a scientific paper. So it's up to you to figure out which article is which. And sometimes you, you'll read it. You'll read it anyway and sometimes you might even cite it. But you have to know when you're citing a scientific paper and when you're not. So back to the review article. What a review article is, is a, a, a literature review of all the, the articles that have previously been published on the topic that interests you. And then somebody has written an article from that that characterizes the state, the current state of the body of science on that particular issue. And it can be done quite rigorously. And there's even ways to do that in a quantitative way, for example, that, that looks like uh, new research. But the idea is it's to characterization of old research, research that's already occurred. That's point number one. Now the uh, theoretical article or the position piece what that does is that reviews all the articles that have occurred and it's making an argument that something different should be done or that the discipline should characterize things theoretically a certain way. But it's not actually testing it and it's not just purely reviewing the uh, prior state of the uh, body of science to give you an objective characterization of what that body looks like, but rather it's reviewing that and then telling you what you should think from that. So your, your pure literature review article is giving you a state of the body of science. Your theoretical piece might have a literature review part to it, but then it's also telling you what you might want to do in the future, how you should think about that discipline. Lastly, your scientific paper is a presentation of new research. It will have a literature review in it, and it will probably have a theoretical part in it, but its main thrust is that it is actually testing something. 
And when your professor asks you to get journal articles on something, they want tests of that. They want you to go to the body of science and find out where somebody has advanced the research question, tested it, and then offered a conclusion from it. So for your dissertation research and your course assignments, if all you know is that you're supposed to get journal articles, you should probably start with a scientific paper. If for some reason you need to cite a literature review article, or if you need to cite a theoretical article, just mark it as such. You'd say, you know, so-and-so, the author so-and-so, in their theoretical article suggested such-and-such. Such. Or author so-and-so in their literature review article suggested such-and-such. Such. It's not as great as a scientific paper, but it's far better than other sources could be, like textbooks or non-academic sources. So it's kind of like a middle ground. You just want to identify it when you're off there in that that area that's not the true scientific paper. So hopefully this helps just put a, an idea to your thinking of uh, what you're supposed to be looking like once you actually get to the journals and what type of article uh, that you're supposed to be looking at. There's many other ways to characterize it and that's probably not exact but I'm hoping it gives you food for thought as you start uh, building yourself into a scholar. Thank you.